Kula siku moja tu ilifika. Alitafutia mzungu akaniambia itabidi sasa nichukuane na huyo mzungu. Ndio sasa maisha yangu ikuwe poa. Nilipata mkono imeoza. Kuna wadudu. Nilenda nikajirua kazi ya ba. Then hiyo ba nilikuwa na lipo 700 kwa wiki. Hiyo mm -hmm. 700 na save na ninataka kukula ndio nisaidie mamangu apigwe picha. Mi by the way nilikuwa tu hadi najiuza. Mtu akikuja akinipeka 200 mm -hmm. naenda na save. Mm -hmm. Ibar si kujitakia. Mimi nilijipata tu nikiwa na borju nilikuwa naenda na wanaume. <laughs> my people like i've told you i was on my way to Vasha, and i thank god we have arrived safely we are at somewhere called kenamba actually when my name is Shiko told me she lives in kenamba i clicked and i was like tunaenda kwetu ngarua kenamba i didn't know naivasha has a place called kenamba and i'm here i am so humbled i've been welcomed and i've been welcomed by i'm now a show show there's a kashiko called shiko here a kasho show three weeks old so now i'm a kasho show so pan fraternity thank you so much for coming with me all the way to naivasha and uh, i have <coughs> an amazing woman who is a mother we're going to talk to her we're going to talk to the daughter and i i don't want anyone to judge them i don't want anyone to make a or write a comment by the way, when it comes to comment, I would really want each and every person, before you write a comment, think about it. Are you writing this comment? What if it was you? How would you feel? So write a comment that may encourage her or even give her the support that she needs. I won't take much of her time. I just want us to go straight to the to the story and let's see how Soipan Fraternity can come through for her and her daughter and also the newborn that is here. Karibuni. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. So Samam. Bambo. Poa. Karibu sana. Santi. Salimia wa watu. Kwa majina naitwa Ruth Wanziko. Mimi mm -hmm. nimetoka Kinango side za Kinango. Mm -hmm. Nimekuja kutafuta mali na zaishi hapa Kenamba, Naivasha. Sababu Kinango pun mali pa baridi na kuwa na shida ya kifua. Sasa imebidi nimetoka nyumbani nimekuta kutafuta mali nitapata tu. Tapata tu amani juu ya mwili. <coughs> By the way, life yangu ni hard juu. Mimi nimepitia mambo ngumu. Nilishikuwa na shida ya kifua nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Ya nikiwa mdogo. Tukua tunaishi Nairobi. Nimezaliwa Nairobi. Kariwa bangi. Toka hapo babangu wakanunua proti, proti na ivasha. Ah, Kinango. Mari kuna hituwa morongaru. Wenye rinunua tukawamia huko. <coughs> Tumeishi huko. Saika fika mari. Katoka hapo nikaenda job Nairobi. Nikaenda saidi za Nairobi. Kwa nikaenda nikapatana na mzee padana mzee ndio nikaoleka saidi za kiambu kafanikiwa na wasichana wawili kutoka hapo mzee tukaanza yani mzee kuna, kuna kijana yake atakuwa tuna mimi nilikuwa bibi ya pili sasa hiyo kijana yake alikuwa anantishia maisha mzee wangu akasema turudi pande za kinango tumekaa kinango tumeka sana yani kinango ikabidi man tukafika tukakosana na yeye Kwa sana na ikaenda saidi za Mombasa. Tu kazi ya mid. Nienda kazi ya mid na Ivasha. Ni Mombasa. Nimefanya mm -hmm. huko miezi tatu. Yule mama mwenye aliniitia kazi. Nienda huko kumaliza miezi tatu nikamuitisha mshahara yangu ikafika mahali na mateso. Kuna siku moja tu ilifika. Alitafutia mzungu akaniambia itabidi sana nichukuane na huyo mzungu. Ndio sasa maisha yangu ikuwe poa ata nilipa mshahara analeta wasichana huko anatafutia maisha mimi nikamwambia saka tutasaidiana na yeye lakini venye tu yule mzungu alikuja tukaongea na yeye kafika mahali venye alikuwa anataka kunitumia mimi kanishinda mhm nikaona imeniremea sasa huyo msichana kumwambia hivyo ilibidi mahali akanituzi na akanifukuza nje yani akanitupia vitu nje mhm kaniambia kuna sasa venye tunasaidiana yenyewe nilitesaka Mombasa Nikuwa na haa, sikuwa street, sina pesa, kurudi homu ni, ni ngumu. Nikakaa naivasha ni ni mombasa hiki tatu, kasi na adhaisi kurudi nyumbani. 
ndio tu nikapatana na, na mtu wa nyumbani akanisaidia tukapatana na yeye akaniuliza nini nafanya huko nikamwambia mimi nimekuja huko nilikuja kazi nikamweleza story zangu yani saidia venye naweza rudi Nairobi sasa kiambu kwa mzee wangu mm-hmm. <coughs> sasa hiyo mzee wangu ametoka nyumbani kina ngopa amerudi kiambu na watoto ndio sasa ameona kiambu kina ngopa anaona kama mama yangu anambeba vibaya mm-hmm. akarudi sasa nyumbani saidi za kidhunguri mm-hmm. tumekaa sasa mi venye nirudi kidhunguri nilirudi nyumbani nikampigia simu nikamwelezea mm-hmm. sasa venye iko kwenye nilienda nyumbani nilienda tukakaa na siku mbili huko Marco alikuwa anakondesha nyumba mm-hmm. akaniambia turudi tuanze maisha yetu ya kawaida mm-hmm. jo hata vitu alikuwa anacha kina ngopa mm-hmm. ndio tukarudi kina ngopa kurudi kumaliza tu siku mbili hivi nikaanza kibarua sasa huko ndio hata eh, maisha ilimgeuka mimi tuanza kibarua naenda kibarua na kuja na nunua chakula naye anaenda tu ana hustle mwenye tu atapata tunakuja tunasaidiana mm-hmm. Nikuwa kwa kibarua kitu nilikuwa nimekaa kitu wiki moja kuna mahali hapa palikuwa pananiuma hapa hivi kwa mkono uh-huh. hapa uh-huh. hata nikitoka Mombasa uh-huh. nilikuwa na jikuna kuna hapa hivi uh-huh. hapa pa mefura sasa kabisa uh-huh. mimi nilikuwa kwa shamba nikasikia hiyo mkono imenishinda iwezi kazi imefura sasa kabisa uh-huh. ndio nikaita sonko wangu nikamwambia ai hii mkono imenishinda siwezi fanya kazi leo ilikuwa nime, nimechimba viazi ngoni ya moja ah ah iko imefika ilikuwa nusu sasa ni kama moja tu ilikuwa ichaguliwe nini ndio sasa ikichaguliwa ngoni ya moja tulikuwa tunalipa 150 mm-hmm. akaniambia sasa juu umeremewa na kazi nitakupatia 70 bob nikamwambia ungenipatia 75 hata hizo pesa angalau niende ninunulie watoto hata kama ni lunch akaniambia atanipe 70 bob mimi akatipatia hizo 70 nikaenda home kwenye nikakuta hata mzee yuko alienda naye kuhaso. Mhm. Nikaenda nikanunulia watoto chakula, wakakula. Jioni mzee akukuja hata akukuja na kitu. Na sina pesa, na alikuwa amegozea nimeenda ke nini job sasa mm-hmm. nikubahatisha tu mwenye atapata kazi. Mhm. Si tulala hiyo hiyo siku. Mm-hmm. Jioni yake mimi hata siku hiyo siku siku rara mkono ila tukiwasha. Ikiwasha na asubuhi nikapeleka hospitali mali kunaitwa kwa youth kwenda huko huyo daktari venye aliniangalia tu hivi akasema hapana huyo mama mpeleke mbele na Ivasha nikadungwa shindano mbili za uchungu <coughs> nikapelekwa na Ivasha kupelekwa na Ivasha nilienda kama nimehadimitiwa sasa ile uchungu niko nayo hata imezidi nienda tu kama nimedungwa tena shindano nikapelekwa kwa ward kupelekwa kwa watu kutoka hapo nili nilika yani nilika wiki tatu kama sijaiongea hakuna sijui nini nini nikakaa wiki tatu kwa beda na ivasha wose mzee wangu ndiye aliambua na daktari aende ashughulike hiyo mkono inaonekana kuna kitu imeniuma iko na sumu ndiye akaenda akaanza kuchangisha kiambo kuna dada yangu mwingine wana msaruti wale amenisaidia dia alikuwa anasaidia kwa hospitali kuni kuniosha nini mm. anaitwa yani huyo dadangu nampenda mm. yani nisaidia kusema ukweli anisaidia mm-hmm. mimi kama tu nime yani venye tu nikauliza nini nimefanya nikuje sasa unaona nilikuwa koni kama mtu mwenye hata ajielewi mm. kuangalia mkono sasa hiyo nimefunga mkono imeoza tayari nilipata mkono imeoza kuna wadudu mama yangu alikuwa hapo na dada zangu kufungua tu mkono iko inatoka tu wadudu kwa mkono imeoza kabisa siko mimi nikauliza ai kama mtu anaozanga kama ako hai kama ako hai kitu kanitisha tamama kuamini kesho yake ndio nilipele kwa dieta nikaenda nikatoa hizo nyama zote kutoka hapo nikakaa Naivasha nika nimesha nilikaa wiki miezi tatu. Mhm. Watoto wangu walikuwa wadogo. Mhm. Nimekaa miezi tatu naivasha. Sasa hivi niko na shida ya kifua. Hizi mashida zingine zimeanikujia ilikuwa 2010. Mhm. Baba yangu alitumia 10,000. Nikapea nikapea mzao wangu akaanza biashara. Wenye alianza biashara sasa mimi sasa hiyo nimeanza kupona. 
kaza tu madharau jua tumekaa tu na shida lakini wakati alianza shida alianza job mm. akaanza tu madharau jisa ya kuna venye naweza jifanyia sasa hiyo niko na shida tu ndio mm -hmm. tulikuwa tunakaa mbali na nyumbani nikamwambia tulikuwa nyumba yenye tulikuwa tunaishi ilikuwa nyumba dabo sitting room tunapigia hapo na kuni ni yani ile life tulikuwa tunakaa tulikuwa tunakaa maisha ya mateso venye alianza kupata pesa tulikuwa tunalipa nyumba 500 tukaanza kwa nyumba 2000 aniacha kwa hiyo nyumba na watoto alikuwa ah. tulikuwa tunanunua pump tukiosha tunapeleka Narok akaanza sasa madharau alikuwa ananitumia 125 shilingi 100 na 25 sasa hiyo ni chakula maniani sasa hiyo nyumba nalipa hiyo ni chakula na ni nyumba mimi nikakaa kuna mama rafiki yangu tulikuwa tunaishi naye kwa protect kaniambia eh Jusa hiyo watoto una wanashinda nja hiyo 125 ndio anagura jioni. Kafika baada chai asubuhi wa kuni. Anda kusaza kusogata kusoma imekuwa ni shida. Hii maisha yangu ya shida ilianza hapo. Mimi ndio nilianza kazi ya bana naenda na Osha kwa watu wale nyewe wananijua jo nilikuwa na mtumizi wangu nilikuwa na mkono mzuri bana nilipatia tu kazi na panguza panguza club hivi na poa mia Mungu akanipea tufe nikapata tufe fa ya Mungu nikaanza kuosha kama vilabu mbili jo watu ile majindo wanaona napitia kwa siku napata kama mia mia mbili na napikia watu hangu ili sika mahali huyo mzee mwenye alikuwa ile klabu ya kwanza alipoa kazi ya kuosha huyo mzee akaniambia waje kuuneza uza hata pombe hiyo mkono ikishika tu chupa hivi alafu na juu left iko iko right iko poa hii na kusapot unashika chupa kidogo unafunua kazi ya bao utafanya akamwambia ina shida akanipea kazi nikafanya kazi watoto wangu nikaweza kurudisha shule mm -hmm. nikalipa nyumba hata alinipa alinipa mshahara kama sijafanya kazi wow. mimi ni mtu wa kujifanyia kazi mm -hmm. akanipa 1600 akaniambia ndio ulipe nyumba narudisha watoto shule nikawarudisha kwa shule nikaona sasa maisha yangu yakuwa mzuri mm -hmm. na ndio ile baridi ya, ya kidabu tena nayo mwili kifua nayo kaanza kuleta shida mm -hmm. Sasa niko kwa kazi wiki moja saa zingine ile kazi na nilemea bado mhm mm da bacha alikuwa ananiandaa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sand hiyo mzee alikuwa ananiandaa sand kwanza vizuri na muambia ananiambia usijali hakuwa nalikata pesa ama hakuwa nalifanyia chochote ilifika mahali yo bike afungwa sasa nikaanza maisha shida tena nikafikia mm -hmm. niende katondo nikapiga baba yao simu nikamwambia eh mtu anagonjekaga kama unapata shida naweza kupata wapi kanielezea venye naenda naweza enda nikaambia huyo zunguko wangu nasikia mzee wangu ni mgonjwa baba ya watoto wangu naweza enda kumwaniambia ina shida enda tu muangalie mimi nikaenda atondo venye nienda nilifika usiku amenielezea yani amenielezea lakini sikumwambia naenda kaniambia ukikuja kwa ikatondo kwa soko uulize fulani utaambiwa mahali naishi sasa nikaenda hapo kwenda ndio nikaulizia nikaonyeshwa hadi kwa nyumba yake kwenda kwa nyumba yake nipata wakiwa wawili na mama mwingine yani kuna mama alikuwa ameka huko ili walisuka venye waliniona jua kwa wametarajia hiyo kitu mimi mm -hmm. Nienda tu na nikakuwa mpole. Jumi mimi ndiye nimeenda na mali nimeenda ni mbali. Sasa hiyo by the way, zile pesa niko nazo si hizi atenda hata nikondesha nyumbani lale. Mhm. Mm Ilibidi tu nikasema acha nilale tu huko. Mm -hmm. Sio na otherwise. Mm -hmm. Mimi nikaenda, wakaniuza kama nitakula nikawaambia hapana. Tukarae kwa hiyo nyumba. Tuko watatu. Kesho yake ikafika ndi kama mbia taenda nyumbani huyo mama kaenda mahali akoa naenda kwa nakaa hapo alikuwa anakoa yake 
Hiyo siku mlilala huko mlilala ajali kupatia heshima yako kama bibi yake. Ah ah tutumia tu watu wawili. Hiyo siku. Mm. Naye. Kutoka hapo asubuhi mama kaenda hiyo mama kaenda kwa kemi nikamwambia tenda nyumbani tarudi kina ngopo. Kumwambia hivyo akaniambia hapana nataka tuongee. Ndio tuliongea ile kitu ilishangaza. Hiyo siku alipatia 6000. Mtu atumaji pesa. Lakini venye nilienda huko venye alijua venye alinifanyia nilipe 1600. Akaniambia niende nipe nyumba. Alirudisha watoto ah, wangu shule. Inafika kama hadi kama yangu amekosa dawa, hana dawa. Mimi na pesa. sawa sawa. Nakumbuka tu ile maisha yanapitia. Hata hmm. dada niambia gaibu kutua buwe. Tutakufa. Hmm. Acha kuona ile shida tunapitia. Video ile bidi nikatoka. Saidiza na Ivan, sikiba mbaza na ni. Kuna ngopa. Kuna ngopa. Hmm. akaniambia, hmm. tutafuta mahali na zaka. Hmm mali kuna joto. Mhm. Uh-huh. nilihamia huku. Mhm. Uh-huh. Nimejaribu kudunga mashindano za za kufungua kifua. Kifua inakata. Uh-huh. Dawa za pressure na kunywa. Siachi kuhem. Daktari ananiambia niende nipigwe picha ya nini roho iko na shida. Uh-huh. Sina sina pesa naweza pigwa hiyo picha. Ndio mchana wangu alimaliza class 8 sasa ni hata huku kazi imenishinda mimi na nilikuja nikapatana na, na mwanaume huko akaniambia atanisaidia sasa venye aliona venye na gonjekaga eh hakuwa nafikiria mjani niko na shida yote sasa hiyo kifua bado inaniletea shida akaniambia mm-hmm. wewe sio nitukisaidiana na wewe aliniacha kama mimi ni mgonjwa Agiona hivi venye tunakaa na huyu mwanaume matuzo kuna kitu hawezi kuniambia kama watoto wako hapo kama huyu wako hapo mm. ndio yaka akatoka tu hata kuniambia akienda akaenda na huko saidi zake na ngopo akatafuta kazi ya ba sindi akanipia amekaniambia amepata kazi mm-hmm. sikujua anafanya kazi gani mweza mwezi mmoja akaniambia mama acha nikwambie tu kazi yenye nafanya sisi tangu sisi tangu ndio alinipia simu Aniambia hajiko. Unajua sasa ile kazi huyu mtoto anafanya huko, anakuaibisha juni mali na juni kana. Kamwambia kwani anafanya nini? Sindi huyu akanikamuliza akanimbia, "Mama wewe uko na haja? Kujua venye nafanya mko uko na haja. Utibue." Mimi nikashindwa nikitaambia huyu mtoto nini. Kabidi tu nijamaze. Sasa venye huyu mtoto alikuja alikuja nika yani alikaacha kazi huko amewaacha kazi jua kona bor simi siko na jua kona mimba mimi hata nilikuwa na idea tu nikiuliza Mungu tu ni hata nilikuwa nimeandika hata message nasema tu nikaambia dada zangu ndugu zangu mimi nitajiua sasa mali imefika watoto wangu wajaishi venye wanaishi mimi sasa nitakuja tena nikufe ndio sasa Sakuzi kupata mtu mwenye anaweza nisaidia ama mwenye aniniambia hapana acha kufanya hivi. Madada zako na mandugu zako wanafikiria kuja kukusaidia hata siku moja. Wanafikiria lakini kuna mwenye ako na uwezo. Hmm. Wote wana hasu tu. Ni nini unataka ndio at least uweze kusimama na kujifanyia kazi? Mimi saizi nikipata tu hiyo picha nipigwe hiyo picha ya roho. Naweza furahi tu. Ndio cha inataka pesa ngapi? Niliambiwa 15,000. Uko na kadi ya NHF. Kadi ni kadi nimepata nimekata nime, nime juzi. Uh-huh. Niko nayo. Wanasema hizi <coughs> simamilia? Hapana. Wanataka 15,000. Eh. Sasa kama ni hizi hizo hizo zivitu picha tu ndio nimeambiwa nipigwe hata picha nilikuwa nimeenda Kijabi nimeenda Naivasha. Mm. Na ambwa wapigi picha. Niende nipigwe picha. Sasa ndio nirudi hospitali yo kadi tani simamia. 
yani sasa imenishinda sijui hata kadi jaanza kufanya kazi naanza hii mwezi sikushinda kila kitu ina sababu mm -hmm. ya labda wakati wa Mungu ndio huko so, <laughs> usiwe fikiria kujitoa moyo rusi mm -hmm. kwa hii maisha kwa zile kuna panda shuka usione kama Mungu amekuacha Mungu ako tu karibu na wewe ni majaribio tu ya dunia utakuja kuisha she has a medical problem and for right now she cannot be even be able to be employed to work because she needs first proper medical attention at the same time she's crying for the help of her last daughter who cleared class 8 and now as you know this year is ending we are heading now to third term and this time <coughs> is still at home she has lacked school fees when i talk of urgent help to ruth it's because even when i'm talking to her she's struggling to speak she's breathing so hard it's like she's lacking enough oxygen she's training to breathe because her chest is so much congested and uh, she has been told that as much as she has the nhif card she still needs the 15,000 shillings to pay for the picture i'm here on her behalf again my people please let's come through for ruth let's come through for her daughter and also you have heard the other daughter as much as she was trying to help her mother she ended up a mother at a very young age she's a mother she's ready to talk you listen to her let her just tell her what happened and how she found her she found herself in the situation she, she, that she is uh, me kwa maisha yangu nimepitia maisha ngumu sana mm -hmm. by the way me sijai pata yani nime yani nime nime <laughs> nimepitia maisha ngumu sana mm -hmm. nikiwa mtu mdogo sana mimi mm -hmm. nimekuwa nikisaidia mama mm -hmm. na hadi nikiwa tu na yule nilipata ball si si ati nile ya kusema ati ni kujitakia nilikuwa mm. tuna hustle nilenda nikajirua kazi ya ba then yu ba nilikuwa nalipo miya saba kwa wiki mm hiyo -hmm. miya saba na save na ninataka kukula yu nisaidia mamangu wa pigu wa picha then vile ilipika, ilifika pahari mm. eh, saa boss then una, unajua saa unuzia watu pombe mm -hmm. lakini mtu anaenda na bill so hadi kwa hiyo 700 napata disipati kitu then saa mi kuna yani presilifika mimi nikaona hadi 700 hiyo yani sipati kitu mimi nikasema yani wacha tu vile nitaweza ni nifanye mimi mm -hmm. by the way nilikuwa tu hadi najiuza mtu akikuja kinipeka 200 mm -hmm. naenda na save mm -hmm. natoa group and kuna group ya wamama niliwa join sana nilikuwa napeleka 200 kila siku ndio mm -hmm. nisaidie ma lakini ilifika pahali mm -hmm. mimi nikiendea pesa zangu niliambiwa kuna pesa yani ati si kutoa pesa ni wapi tuliandikia na nimetoa pesa ulitoa kwa mdomo gani nimekaa ba nimetoa miezi kaa tatu kila siku 200 nilikuwa natoa 200 200 mimi ni mimi nilikuwa wa mwisho mlikuwa watu wangapi tulikuwa watu saba lakini mm. ilifika pahali hadi nilienda kutisha hizo pesa hadi nikaudhika sana nikatoka hiyo kazi jua di kunisaidia vile niliendea pesa kurudi nyumbani <laughs> ndio niweze niende nipeleke mwa mjumbe alikuwa na alikuwa yani mtu ako na hali mbaya sana au oh, mama unawajua <laughs> eh yeah, mama unawajua uko na namba zao za simu Haa. wako wapi wanakuwa side za kinangop lakini mmoja siju ya, yani wa, wile saa kuna siku nilikuwa nimerudi huko mm -hmm. nikapata kwenye nilikuwa nimeacha wengine wamehama mm -hmm. saa adio kitu iniliuma sana saa nikatoka mi adu hii borsi kujitakia mi nilijipata tu nikuwa na borju nilikuwa naenda na wana ume <laughs> It's okay, mommy.
My people, you know, sometimes when you do these stories, you never thought you'd reach at a point like this. This is a very young girl. She tried, she only did what she was doing to help her mother because of the condition they have been going through. And now not only for women, after even not refusing to give her back her money, found herself pregnant and you can she's she's speaking with so much pain Jambi eh mtoto ni baraka nisawa na Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Or someone is a No more. No more. So in case ato kirudisha nguvu mungu kusaidia kazi kipatikana unaweza fanya kazi eh naweza fanya unaweza taka kazi gani ya kuajiriwa ama ujeke biashara yako yoyote tu mm. eh unaweza fanya mm. haya ongea na wakenya mi mi ningetaka mm. mtu anaweza simama na maisha yangu ana maana yetu mm. tuweze kule huyu mtoto tupata hata kama ni kazi naweza jisimamia nayo nisimame na kwetu Jumi yuki tumaja na jua mimi ni kwa titu. Mimi na jua mashinda za kwa titu. Nige penda. Wa Kenya mtu saidie. Tuwezi kurea duwe mtoto. Na sister yangu wa some. Kasa bifo tumalize. Kimonge na wa Kenya. Wapatia namba ya kwa ya simu. 0, 1, 15, 27, 63, 55. You're in safari, Kong? Yeah. Zero one, fifteen, twenty-seven, sixty-three, fifty-five. Fifty-five. Mm-hmm. Now, your mom, your mom? Yeah. Now, your mom? Zero seven, twenty-six, sixty-one, zero one, thirty-four. So, you know what to say, you're not happy? Yeah. Sawa, sawa. I don't know. You know, when when this girl is just talking of what she has gone through just to make sure that her mother will go to hospital and get the medication that she needs. And then at the end of the day, she comes back empty-handed, she comes back pregnant. It's so painful. It's so maybe sometimes discouraging to the mother. But I want to really appreciate the mother, uh, uh, Madam Wanjiko, for not even throwing up tantrums to her daughter but welcoming her back. And I really plead once again on behalf of this family. Please, 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 everybody who is out there, make sure this content go global. Let's come through for this family. Let's really come through for this family because they really need our help and like i've always said we don't give because we have so much no we give and then you let god make a way for you and also for them also their prayer they need your prayers if you're there you might not even have that much to give but a phone call just to pray with madame bruce just to pray with her daughter jambi will go a long way because they also need people to encourage them people just to give them hope and also people to give them a voice that's all for today once again thank you so much for always consuming my content be blessed abundantly continue subscribing commenting share like and also don't forget to press the notification bell until next time shalom from naivasha nakuru county